Good morning, Church. Today is Sunday, and it's time to listen to the Word of God. I thank the Lord for His sufficient grace, His strength, and His faithfulness. In spite sa tong kalisod nga na gigotro karon, we can sing God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Our sermon for today is a series of knowing the presence of God in the person of Jesus from first Sunday, knowing the presence of God in the Holy Spirit the second Sunday, knowing the presence of God in God the Father third Sunday, and this is the last Sunday, knowing the presence of God in the body of Christ. Shall we all stand, if you have your Bible with you? Shall we read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 to 14? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 to 14. Verse 12, it says, For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. Verse 13, For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all to drink into one Spirit. Verse 14, For the body is not one member, but many. Shall we pray? Magampota, Heavenly Father, thank you for your words today. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will be our guide today. Open our eyes, open our hearts, open our ears, and understanding to receive the message this morning. Use and anoint your servant today as you speak your words in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. What is the meaning of the body of Christ? There are two meanings in the body of Christ. First, it may refer to Jesus. Jesus' words over the bread at the celebration of Jewish feast of Passover. That is, this is my body in Luke 22, 19 to 20. This is the refer of eating the bread and drinking the cup. And that is during our Holy Communion in the first Sunday. Mone siya ang refer Second meaning sa body of Christ is, it may refer to all individuals who are in Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 to 14, nga which is maupod na ato ang pag-atakil karong this morning, refers to all individual matag-usa nga naakang Kristo. According to Billy Graham, the Holy Spirit illuminates the minds of people, makes us yearn for God, and takes spiritual and makes it understandable to us. It is the Holy Spirit that makes us clear to our mind, and yearns for God is a desire for God. Desire to take spiritual and makes understandable, means masabtan kanato. What are the benefits of the presence of God in the body of Christ? There are many benefits of the presence of God, meaning presence ni Lord, the Holy Spirit in the body of Christ. Let's learn. Number one benefits na atong makita, makita siya sa John chapter 14, verses, verse 26. The benefits, number one, the Holy Spirit is a helper. The Holy Spirit is a helper who teaches and reminds. It is John 14, 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. It is the Holy Spirit nga gisend ni Lord sa tua, nga mag-teach to all things and bring all all things to your remembrance whatsoever I said unto you. The Holy Spirit therefore is our helper. Dili tabayaan ni Lord kay siya atong helper. 
The Holy Spirit in Greek word is parakletos. The Holy Spirit in Greek word is parakletos, meaning in English Standard Version, the Holy Spirit is our helper. Magtatabang. In New International Version, parakletos means Holy Spirit is our advocate. Man lalaban. Mahana siya meaning sa advocate. And the Holy Spirit in King James Version is our counselor. Counselor is magtatambag. Ingana ang work sa Holy Spirit in our lives as Christian. Helper, advocate, and counselor. The Holy Spirit provides counsel to every believers, especially to the followers of Christ and the believers of Christ. Jesus knew he would be going away. Kabalo, kabalo si Jesus nga mulakaw na siya, balik na siya sa langit, and that his follower need the Holy Spirit, and that the believers need the Holy Spirit as a helper. Nga mo help sa imuha, and advocate mulaban sa imuha. Holy Spirit is something that is always with us. For me, that is always with me is my eyeglass always gina sa kuwa. Kay kung walay eyeglass blurred akong pananaw. The same thing, the Holy Spirit is always with us. Naa sa tuwa. No matter how hard or difficult the situation is, you can feel the Holy Spirit in your lives. If naa siya if you are a true believer. Therefore, mafeel lang nato ang Holy Spirit kung tinuod ka nga magtutuo ni Kristo. You as a believer are not alone. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the power of God that was given to you. The power of God that was given to me to help you, to energize you, and to keep you in your journey. Ingana ang bala ang espiritu sa ato ang matag-usa nga kinabuhi. Second benefits of the presence of God in the body of Christ, number two is the Holy Spirit dwells in believers and fills them. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, Do you know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? So, nakabalo ba ka na ikaw, templo sa Diyos, ang balaang espiritu sa Diyos na gadwell sa imuha? It is a reminder to all Christians, to all believers, na dili jud na to hugawan ang atong kinabuhi. Dili jud hugawan ang atong lawas. Kay i-remind ta ni Lord na temple di ay ko sa Diyos. Temple di ay ka sa Diyos na kailangan jud na limpyo ang temple sa Dios. Ang balaang espiritu dili mo puyo sa hugaw nga kasing-kasing, sa hugaw nga balay nga which is your body, dili siya mo dwell ni Ana. Puno sa sala o wala ni dawat sa Dios, dili mo dwell ang balaang espiritu ni Ana. So walay rason ikaw Kristohanon nga mag nga mutalikod ka sa Dios. Walay rason nga maghuhugaw ka sa, pul- sa imong lawas. It's because i-remind ka ni Lord. I-remind ka sa Holy Spirit. Sa, isa, sa number one na ito nga, nga benefits na i-remind ka. The Holy Spirit remind you. When you get sin, kung nakasala ka, i-remind ka kung nakasala ka. And then, it's time nga mo turn, balik ka sa ginoon. Ayaw, mabakslide. Balik sa Diyos. Kaya nga naman, the Holy Spirit dwells in you and fills you. Mo na pinakalami nga nga ho, nga Dios no kay i-feel good ka. Tanan nimo mga mga desire to bago na sa Dios kay kauban ang Holy Spirit nimo. Third benefits of the presence of God in the body of Christ is the Holy Spirit has the power to make you closer to Christ. No, the Holy Spirit has the power na ay gahom nga malabing duol ka sa Dios, mas closer ka sa Dios. James 4:8, draw near to God. Ingon ng Dios, draw near to God. 
and He will draw near to you. It, it, it is the Holy Spirit nga nag-remind sa ito, nga mag-draw, yun ta, nga mudut-dut yun ta sa Diyos, and He will draw near to you. O mudut-dut po siya kanimo. Cleanse your hearts. This is the requirements. Cleanse your hands, imong kamot, limpiuhan, uh, and your hearts. Purify your hearts. You double-minded. Dili mag-dwell. Ang balaang ispirito, kung nag-double-minded ka, kung, li, kung hugaw ang imong kasing-kasing, hugaw imong kamot, hugaw imong pagkatao, dili mo dwell ang balang ispirito niya na mo nang gusto sa Diyos nga magpakabalaan ka. Number four, the benefits of the, whole, the presence of God in the body of Christ is the Holy Spirit helps us to do the Father's will. Acts chapter 8, verse 29. Then the Spirit said to Philip, Go up and join these chariots. It is the Holy Spirit reminds us not, not our will, but the will of God. Sometimes, mawala ta sa passing, no? sa, sa decision sa Diyos, sa, sa kabubuton sa Diyos, pero i-remind ka sa Holy Spirit, Ops, mali na imong ginahimo. Balik, balik. Kay dili na kabubot on sa Diyos. Unsa may kabubot on sa Diyos. What is the will of God in our lives? To, one is to follow God's command. Naa sa pulong sa Diyos. Follow God's command. Unsa man ang mga command ni Lord sa imong kinabuhi. And second, to walk in His ways. Sometimes, mag-walk ta there is a right or there is a left. Pero ang gusto sa Diyos, focus ka, nga mula ka, uban niya. So, dili jud ka mawala kung ang balang espiritu nagauban ka ni mo. He will lead you to do unsay kabubot on sa Diyos sa imong kinabuhi. Amen? Amen. Number five, benefits of the presence of God in the body of Christ is the Holy Spirit gives spiritual gifts to the believers. This is ganakan kay kung ani. Kay once ma-believer ka, tagaan di ay ka gifts sa Holy Spirit kanimo. And this gifts is not natural. Dili ni siya nga natural nga nga dali lang nimo makuha. Pangayuon jud nimo niya siya sa bala ang espiritu nga kani nga spiritual gifts. There are gifts of the Holy Spirit na makita sa 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Verses 4 to 11. Pero ato ang in-name ang gifts of the Holy Spirit. Number one nga gifts of the Holy Spirit is the gifts of wisdom. The gifts of wisdom, nga which is, na-remember na ko, si Solomon ni Eni, nag-ask siya sa ginoo, Lord, ah, dili ko mag-ask o kadato, dili ko mag-ask o anything, only wisdom lang ang akong gusto. Why? To govern my people and my country. Grigalo ni sa Diyos, ni, sa Diyos nga gihatag kang Solomon. Pwede man po nato ni makuha, di ba? Kung atong pangayuon ang gift of wisdom. Ingon bitaw ang Diyos, spiritual gifts to believers. Kung believer ka, magtutuo ka, you can have these gifts of wisdom. Second nga regalo sa balang espiritu sa magtutuo, sa mga believers, is word of knowledge. Gasa sa pagkahibalo. Number three, gasa sa pagtuo, which is faith. Number four, gifts of healing, o gasa sa pagpangayo. Gifts of healing, case, di rin siya basta-basta. Kung atong makita sa, sa mga YouTube, no, sa, mga, sa mga mensahe, sa mga pastor, kana naka sila gasa sa gifts of healing. Especially, kanang naay mga revival, na ay ilang ipanglihans, ampuan, maayo siya, pinaagi sa ngalan ni Jesus. Mauna siya ang gasa sa healing. And number five is gasa sa milagro. This is gifts of miracles. Number six, gifts of prophecy, pagpanagna. So, kung ang church ninyo na ay nag-prophecy, ayaw siya badlunga. Kay regalo na sa Diyos, sa iyaha nga mo prophesy siya kung unsay mahitabo sa church, mahitabo sa unsay maabot nga mahitabo. 
Mo na siya gifts of prophecy. Number seven, gifts of discerning spirit. Pag ila sa espiritu. Sometimes, makita nato ni siya no, sa mga pastor, nga, which is prayerful pastor, nga layo pa lang ka, madiscern ka. Madiscern ka nga, nag, nag-uulde ay ka, madiscern ka nga, naluya ka, nadiscern ka nga, nadiscourage ka. And then that pastor, prayhan ka, kay nadiscern niya, nga ikaw, naluya na sa pagpangalagad sa Diyos. And that is regalo na, gifts na sa, sa discerning spirit, sa tinuod nga magtutoo. Next, number eight, regalo niya sa Christian believer, gifts of kinds of tongues. Lain-lain nga sinultihan, that's a, uh, uh, kinds of tongues, kanim, uh, uh, lain-lain nga pinulungan. So, nag, nag, nag-speaking in tongues, ang din hinga dapit nga Chinese, ang isa Japanese, ang isa Taiwanese. So, kinds of tongues na siya, speaking in tongues. But yet, isa lang ang concern na, na nagdaig lang siya sa ginoo. Mao na siyang number nine, interpretation of thanks. Mo in, interpret ang kotong unsa ang gisultis ka pang speaking in thanks. Mao na siya ang regalo nga gihatag sa Dios sa mga believers, sa mga magtutuo pinaagi sa balaang espiritu. Lisod ba kuhaon ang uh, gifts, ang spiritual gifts sa yon ba o lisod? I guess lisod siya. Kay dili siya kumon o dili po siya ah, basta-basta ang kuhaon. Kailangan yun siya pangayuon. Pangayuon yun ni mo sa Diyos. Pangayuon ni mo sa balang espiritu, espiritu nga gusto ka ni Ani nga gifts. Gifts of wisdom, gifts of knowledge, gifts of faith, gifts of healing, gifts of miracles, gifts of prophecy, gifts of discerning spirit, gifts of thanks and gifts of interpretation of thanks. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 4 to 11. Atong basahon, he gives one person the power to perform miracles. Money siya ang gasa nga magperform og miracles. And another the ability to prophesy. See, dili siya parihan no. Ability to prophesy. Mo siyang pagpanagna. He gives someone else the ability to discern. Kato akong gingon sa inyo, gifts of discerning spirit. Ability to discern whether a message is from the Spirit of God or from another spirit. Still another person is given the ability to speak in a known language. Katong speaking in tongues. While other is given the ability to interpret what is being said katong interpretation of thanks it is one and the only spirit who distribute all these gifts isa lang ang balaang espiritu lang ang nagahatag ni ining tanan og siya lang ingon siya and he only decide he only decide which gift each person should have so ato siyang pangayuon sa balaang espiritu Asa nga, nga gifts ang imong gusto. Gifts about prophecy, gifts of wisdom, gifts of discerning spirit, gifts of thanks, interpretation of thanks, healing or miracles. Ing ana atong Dios no, dili tanya pasagdan nga ilo. I mean, dili tanya pasagdan nga alone. Kay kauban nato ang balaang espiritu. Taliwala sa tinuod nga Kristohanon sa mga believers. Number six, benefits of the presence of God in the body of Christ is the Holy Spirit gives you hope. So, lami kayo, no? This is the balaang espiritu, tagaan kagpaglaom, no? Pag-asa sa kinabuhi, to those na discourage, tagaan kanyag hope. Basaho na to ang Romans 15:13. It says, May the God of hope Fill you with all joy. The God of hope, ang Diyos sa paglaom, magpuno ka ni mo o kalipay and peace kalinaw in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Ing anak ka, kalami na kung ang bala ang Espiritu nasa toa, naatay paglaom. 
wo dili na tama discourage na atay Dios the God of hope who always with us kauban nato always with us it is the holy spirit fills you with joy and peace Kung imong ma-remember today, daghan kay nag-suicide, daghan na discourage, it's because nawad-an na sila og paglaom. But when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, God gives you peace. God gives you hope. That's why mupadayon ta mga mga, mga laga diha sa Dios. The God of hope nga magpuno kanimo Every day, kanunay, in a minute, in a single, single day, kanunay, naa sa imo ha? Kanunay ka nga na ay paglaom. Amen. It is the Holy Spirit gives you hope. Amen. And joy and peace while living with the Lord. Kauban na to ang Diyos. Number seven, the Holy Spirit is a seal in the lives of believers. Ephesians 4.30 Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed by the day of redemption. So, when you have the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you've been sealed. Naana kay Mark, naana kay Tatak, as a believer of God, as a believer of Christ. Dili na kaingon nga, dili nakaiya ha kay ngano gitagaan na kaniya og seal gitagaan na kaniya og tatak nga owned na ka sa Dios in the ancient world ang seal is a legal signature attesting ownership and validating what was sealed so legal signature nga nagpamatuod nga panag-iya kaniya og nagpamatod nga unsay gisilyuhan di ba you are sealed therefore the holy spirit sealed you own ka na sa dios own na ka sa ginoo the holy spirit is our mark of adoption as god children so nice ka you know gitataka na ka nga adoption ka gisagop na ka ingon anak sa dios Dili naka anak sa kaaway, kundi dili anak ka sa Dios. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to his believers, to his followers so that they could be confident in their salvation. At least confident ko nga gisilyuhan ko sa Dios, nga anak na ko sa Dios sa akong kaluwasan. Church, kumusta ang imong Christian journey? Kauban ba nimo ang Holy Spirit or are you living with the with, with the Holy Spirit or during sa imong journey wala ang Holy Spirit you need the Holy Spirit church amen conclusion the benefits of the Holy uh, presence of God in the body of Christ number 1 the Holy Spirit is a helper who teaches and reminds the Holy Spirit dwells in believers and fills them. The Holy Spirit has the power to make you closer to Christ. The Holy Spirit helps us to do Father's will. The Holy Spirit gives spiritual gifts to believers. The Holy Spirit gives you hope. And the Holy Spirit is a seal in the lives of believers. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your word today. Thank you, Holy Spirit, who is our helper, our advocate, our counselor. I pray that this word, dilit ni siya mahimong kawang, Lord, sa matag-usa nga kasing-kasing nga nakadungog ni ini, O God. Kung dilit, Lord, mahimong buhi, alive, Lord, uban ang presensya sa Dios sa matag-usa nga kinabuhi. I declare in Ephesians 1, verses 17 to 19, it says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know Him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which He has called you, the riches of His glorious inheritance in His holy people and His incomparable great power, for us who we live, we give you praise, we give you honor, we declare it by faith in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.